Today I'm at um, Gainsborough and this is the old hall. It's a fortified manor house. Um, stone built, Tudor stone, uh, Tudor brick, sorry, not stone built, what am I on about? As you see, those windows wouldn't be very fortified. Not sure if they're a later addition. Not quite open yet. It's owned by English Heritage. It opens at um, 10 o'clock. It's only open at the weekend at the moment. Um, Saturdays and Sundays. But as you can see, it does have... Um, it is strongly... Uh, very, very strong, powerful looking building. Sort of age these sort of things start to be built. They have gunpowder and um, firearms coming in. So, how fortified they'd have been against that sort of thing, I don't know. But against a local uh, mob trying to break in, you could probably um, defend this with a few um, professional soldiers. There's not many ways in. As you can see, it is a substantial building. We're going to have some really bright sun shining in our eyes in a second. Today's Saturday, I'm out looking at castles. Um, I was unsuccessful at the first one, I could just see it from the road. And there is a Mott and Bailey or a Ring Work and Bailey, very substantial castle in Gainsborough, to the north of Gainsborough. Sadly, it's private land, you can't really get to it. Things like this might have been a later addition because that's not very well, that's not fortified at all. In this day and age you have to have health and safety with your toilets and so on. Very, very big lean there in that wall. That's leaning well out. Nice little herb garden, I imagine. Because obviously they can't just go to the shops and buy herbs like we do. You can see the way that... Um, side of that building is leaning to the left. There's a lot of sag in that roof there as well. I mean this is over 500 years old I think. There's some blocked up windows there. Crenellations along the top. I've been here before, I don't think you can get up to the roof, which is a pity if you can't. I'm going to stop and have a cup of coffee in here in a second. It's cold today, but look how bright and sunny it is. See, um, they're not arrow loops, they're gun loops for poking your um, your firearms through and shooting left and right, protecting the entrance way or a little. Well, I don't think this is the entrance way. I think it's around the other side, probably more like. A very substantial tower.
just inside the old hall here and this is that bit that's leaning that you can see from the the outside there you can see how much it's leaning open ceilings I don't know if they would have been open that there is the toilet I think because you can see downstairs there's another one where people have thrown coins in but you can see how much this is leaning you can feel it obviously you can't feel it on the camera but you can certainly feel it when you're walking there's another toilet there or garderobe as they were called and it's very very cold in here that's the other side of the building there if that's another toilet, they have a lot of toilets in fact no that would have been another room upstairs not sure how you'd get up there go back this way this is the kitchen, it's the spice room, a massive fireplace. There's food being cooked in here. Yeah, bread ovens. There'd have been quite a few people working in here. Another massive um, chimney here, fireplace. Cooking meat over an open spit there. Stuff would have been hanging from the rafters. I mean, look at that ceiling, that's magnificent. Then you go upstairs to the steward's room. Probably the person who is in charge of everything. There's the kitchen, which leads directly to the Great Hall, where they would be servicing many, 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 many people. Not many fireplaces in here, so I can't imagine it being that warm. That looks French to me. I'm not an expert though. On heraldry. But that's quite some space. Food would be coming in and out of there. Just to the left there, there's some toilets. The garderobe. Whenever you watch medieval films, the walls are always dank and dreary. But this is what they'd be like. You would have tapestries hanging on them. It wouldn't be bare. This is at the top of the roof of um, Gainsborough Old Hall. I thought you could get up here, but I couldn't remember. You can see how high up we are. We'd certainly have a lot of defence um, shooting your. Uh, Missile weapons at that point, probably, down there. I think it's, that's north that way. That's where the, um, there's a, a ring and bailey, which sadly you can't get to, um, private land. Thurrock Castle Hills, I think it's called. You can see the hall going that way. It's the main central bit there with two wings leading off with this central main um, sort of fortified tower. Magnificent views all around. Medieval age, you wouldn't have had all the um, houses around there.
And here we have a spiral staircase that goes from the bottom anti-clockwise, which hopefully debunks the idea that all staircases were built for defence, because clearly if I was a defender, I mean this one um, is going the right way around. Well, actually, this is going from the base, it's clockwise. And it comes out into this room here.